In this video, we're going to talk about how you can order your code to make it appear like shapes look different than they actually are. So we're going to start by putting in a background and I'm going to make a night sky for this scene. So I'm going to put in a dark blue. So it looks like it's nighttime, copying and pasting it in there right after our background. Looks good. And the next thing I'm going to do is make a moon. So I'm going to make an ellipse and I'm going to put it in the top left corner of my screen. So I'm going to do ellipse, E-L-L-I-P-S-E, -L -L -E, at 2 comma 2, and I want it to be too wide and too tall. And it's a little bit smaller than I wanted it to be, so instead of doing 2 comma 2, I'm going to do 3 wide and 3 tall, so 2 comma 2 comma 3 comma 3. There we go. So the next thing that I want to do is put an ellipse on top of this ellipse that is the same color as our background, and that'll make it look like it's a crescent moon instead of a full moon. So I'm going to start by doing a fill command for the background color. Then I'm going to make an ellipse that has a center that's at the top right corner. So I'm going to do the fill and then I'm going to do an ellipse that is at the top right corner. So I'm going to say three comma one and I'm going to try making it too wide and too tall. And that doesn't look exactly right. So I'm going to change the size to three comma three. And I think that looks a lot better. You can experiment with moving it around, but you'll see that there's still outlines on the outside of the shape that kind of take away from the look. You can tell that it's two ellipses. So I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to do a no stroke command and no stroke with a capital S and no spaces will make it so that there's no outlines on your shape. So I actually want to do this code right after background on line two. And the reason I want to do that is so it applies to all of the shapes that I put in. So now you can see that actually looks like a crescent moon. And you can use this ordering of code for a lot of different shapes that you want to create. You can put rectangles on top of circles or vice versa. So now I'm going to just put in a fill. I'm going to make it look like there's some nice water down there. So I'm going to use a rectangle with the upper left hand corner at zero comma six. And I'm just going to make it pretty wide and pretty tall. So let's just do 11 wide and three tall. Awesome. All right. So the next thing that we want to do is add some details to this. So you can choose to add in some stars if you want. You can add a reflection onto the water. There's a lot of different things you can add. And one more thing, if we were to change the order of this code so that the darker ellipse came first, what's going to happen is first our ellipse disappears. That's because it's picking up on the fill command. So let's put in a fill for white. And we can see once we have our ellipse filled in white, if the black or if the blue circle comes first, it doesn't show up like a crescent moon the way we want. That's because whatever happens first in your code, whatever you code for first, happens on the screen first. Anything that comes after it will happen right on top. 